Hamilton in turn towards the centre wing looking for Keenan. Thompson's there, they both miss it. Chance of Crookie done if he's quick enough. Barry Byrne uh, free cruise. Don gets it. Greggy old kick ball quickly by Magro. Magro in turn back towards the half forward line for Mac by side. Courageous mark to Ronnie Weirmouth. Mac by is looking pretty good but not capitalising at the moment. Weirmouth in towards full forward. Moore sets himself. Can't uh, it's about 70 metres around from the North Melbourne goal. Not beautiful knockout by Thompson. Right to Weirmouth. He's clear. Gets the ball back towards the half forward line. Sutton and uh, Rene King. Has a good pick up by Twiggy Dunn. He's in trouble here as he tries to get clear. He is clear away from Ken. He'll fire for the goal. Let's see the shot up towards Moore and Jumbledon. Moore got his hands to it. He couldn't hold the ball. He's grabbed. He's trying to get as a go now for Anders at the goal. A goal to Collingwood. They got a one goal, two eight points. To North Melbourne, two goals, one 13 points. Only five points the difference. And the three seven. They lead by seven points. Twiggy Dunn and Ruck down to Max Richardson in trouble. Left foot screw off, kick back towards half for Renee Kink. Awkward bounce, flex it well, handball and turn, cleverly down to Ray Shaw. Oh, Gordon almost pulled him. Ray Shaw about 50 metres out, his wrong boot though. In towards Peter Moore, but he's behind. And over the back. Weirmouth trying to break clear. Taken in turn by Dunn. Back towards the centre wing it goes. The mark is taken by Renee Kink. He wastes no time. Left footer in towards the centre. Chance now for the back five. Get something going. Taken well with Hyde. Seven. Got up to a great start this uh, grand final match kicking three goals from three shots. Now he's had two cracks at the goals and kicked one behind and one out of bounds. Ball back by Words and back towards the half-back line in front of the members. At the back is Twiggy Dunn. Just said, oh, you're going to play that, Mark. Took it away from Big Len Thompson. Hasn't been a very inspiring play today, Twiggy Dunn, as he boots the ball. They're looking for Renee Kink. Got his hands with and got the mark. Renee Kink will go up there for Cooper. The pressure on Gumbledon now as he drives it up to the two of them. Come on, go for the pass, but Moore's got it. Now he sets for a mark. He's paid it, I thought so. Well, it's a very hard job for Frank Gumbledon, a very hard job indeed, because he's giving away about six inches, and the big fella, Peter Moore, always looks a threat to any side, and looking a bigger threat today. Pretty Already kicked two goals. Sorry, and Louis, pretty hard to play from behind, too. Well, that's, well, it's the only way you can play this guy, because if you're playing in front, he'll jump all over the top of you. And that's the only hope Frank Gumbledon's got. Here we go now. Byers, and he's put it through, and the Magpies have hit the front for the very first time in the 1977 Grand Final, coming at the three-minute mark of the third quarter. Now Ken Cook. Half-back line, boots back towards the centre wing. Keenan can't mark a chance of Twiggy Dunn. He's in trouble. Can he break clear? Handball and turn goes to Gordon. Gordon handball goes, whoops, going in trouble, Ray Shaw. Back it goes towards uh, Magro in the centre. Magro deep into attack, looking for more. Crossball in a bit of danger at the moment. Back towards centre wing. Almost a trip there to burn. Play goes on very close to the boundary line. Still in play though. Taken by Andrew Ireland. Beautiful handball goes out towards the Magro. Magro and turn back to Twiggy Dunn. Dunn down towards full falling again for Moore. He's in front. We've got to get there. Score the fella keeps on standing at two. Okay, Collingwood seven goals, eight. 50 points to North Melbourne, four, 13, 37. So it's a difference of 13 points as the ball comes back into play out there. Ah, oh, good mark to Twiggy Dunn. Half back line, Twiggy Dunn. Magpies looking a million dollars in this third quarter. Back towards the centre wing it goes. Four goals for the Magpies. Croswell out towards the centre wing. Kieran in front. Thompson will go for the big punch from behind. No, he goes to the grab. That's confidence. And the big fella plucks it. What a game he's played in the ruck too. Len Thompson will boot the Magpies back into attack. They lead by 27 points. Down towards Twiggy Dunn. He's got front position. Gumbled over the back. Second ground will be paid. And Dunn is within scoring distance. Well, he's got the breeze. Can he mark it? Punched away by Count, but comes to Cable. But he overruns the ball. Picked up here by Hyde. The ball driven out towards Twiggy Dunn and Gumbledon. There they go, battling hard. It's Gumbledon smothering the ball. Twiggy Dunn's got it now. He's going to go for a run. He's clear. Boots the ball well up there towards that full forward zone. There's Croswell and Moore going. Wait now for the ball to come back into play. It'll be Keenan and Dunn. Down to Bond. He gets a hand pass. Out to Magro. He's grabbed. He snaps for goal. Up towards Moore and... Uh, Recovery by North Melbourne. Ball out towards that to half back line. There's the pack and a mark to Billy Pickin. He better hurry up because time is running out at the 32 minute mark. And scores North Melbourne a goal in front. The kick by Pickin is into the goal square. There's a mark here to someone. It's in front of Twiggy Dunn. It's a good set. Twiggy Dunn, I think, has got it. Oh, oh golly, it could be a drawn game. We might be back here next week. Oh, golly. There's a go now. Oh. Twiggy Dunn's got the mark.
mark. Will it be a drawn match because we're approaching the 20, the 33 minute mark? Time must be running out. Twiggy Dunn with the ball, only about 10 metres out from goal. And look at those North Melbourne players on the mark. Well, oh, the pressure on this veteran from Collingwood played over 200 games. Fires for the goal. And he's put it through. And scores at that level. Scores at that level. Now, what will happen? Can they get it down there and score a point on the side? Aim in the grand final replay of 77. Twiggy Dunn will contest here against Keenan. Twiggy, beautiful tap down to Ray Shaw. Shaw down towards the full forward line. It's all North Norman. Moore will send himself. Seven on the board. Collingwood get the score. Twiggy Dunn from behind. Taps it down towards Manassa. High in the air. No mark will be played here. Twiggy Dunn sets himself. It's good. Over the back, David Dench. Chance of Twiggy Dunn. Back towards the half forward line for the Magpies. For Collingwood. Moore in front. Oh, look at Gumbledon getting up high. Down goes Moore. The ball shot back. Going after it now is Hyde. He'll have a running shot for goal. Uh, Magro, I should say it is. Having a snapshot for goal. Packett goes towards Dunn. He's got the mark. Dunn's got it. Packers Keenan going crooked himself that time on the umpire. And there we see uh, Twiggy Dunn, the man that made the draw of it last week, grabbing a mark after he juggled for some time. There it is again. Look at him juggling the ball here. There he goes. He's finally got it. Well, I reckon he held onto it long enough. Got a difficult shot. He's right on the boundary line. Only about 10 metres out. But at least it's on the right side for a right footer. Very experienced player, Twiggy Dunn. Played over 200 games. And Collingwood badly needing a goal because they trail by 29 points. He fires. He's put it through, I'd say. A goal. <laughs> and that makes the difference. 23 points. By golly, do they need that goal, Louis? They put it by Elves. Back towards centre-half forward, Thompson lurking. And they're over the back, the chance of Worthington taken by Thompson. Threads the handball to Andrew Ireland. He's off towards the centre. He can run towards the half-forward line. Goes to the handball and turn towards Weirmouth. Weirmouth in turn goes towards half-forward, towards Barham. In trouble, Ricky Barham. Lines up from 50 metres out. In towards Twiggy Dunn. Can't come at this occasion. It's going to be played to Twiggy Dunn. Craig Gumbledon looks in bewilderment. And Ron Barassi says, what on earth for? Well, it's Twiggy Dunn's kick. The Magpies, who've been outplayed completely in this first half, are getting back into this grand final replay. Almost an identical spot from the last goal that Twiggy Dunn kicked. He's put it through again. That's his second, and by golly, well, he drew the game last week. Let's watch it again. Down towards Dunn it goes. The mark wasn't there. Gumbledon came in front on. And that's where the free kick was applied. It was there. Now it's on Collingwood's half-forward line, and they're trailing by 17 points. Punched away by Dunn. Grabbed by kick. It's up towards the full forward zone. There's a go now for Manassa. Can he pick it up? Oh, he missed it. He missed it. In goes Moore now. Moore's after it. But the umpire's found a free kick to Manasseh. Profits in the back. Oh, golly, how lucky can you be? Lux of fortune. Oh, oh look at Cowden going took there. He said, what's it for? So it'll go back to uh, 11 points. He can hardly miss this. have to fall over to miss this one. If he does, he'll have to jump off the grandstand. I'll tell you that, because they'll slaughter him. North Melbourne players all surrounding the goals there on the mark, trying to put Manasseh off. Already kicked one goal and he's put it through. So we're back to where we started, 11 points the difference. More going across to Manasseh. Manasseh excited with the way he kicked that goal. A very safe player, strong player for North Melbourne. A hand pass over to Cow Cowton. He's dropped the ball. Holding the ball and the Magpies going to attack again as we wait now for Twiggy Dunn. By golly, Twiggy Dunn's come to life since that... Uh, 10 minute marker for the, the last 10 minutes of the uh, last uh, last quarter and he drives the ball well down towards Moore. Oh, can Moore mark this? He's surrounded. Oh, is the go now for King? He's kicked it. He's missed it. It's Chris Street. And Weirmouth. And Weirmouth. Weirmouth got that. And it's only five points the difference. Good night, King's I, goal, I think, Louis. Weirmouth. I think uh, Weirmouth might have well, got let's it. Let's see the it again. Place. I think Weirmouth decided to let it go. Let's we can see that again. They'll put up. It's a bit Rene Kink there kick it off now. the ground. I think you'll notice that Weirmouth almost was about to kick it and decided not to. Let's see it again. Rene Kink. No, he's missed a desk. Oh, I don't know. 
No, yes. Wehrmouth didn't touch it, I don't reckon. I think Wehrmouth's <laughs> pushed it too, hasn't he? You don't think so? No, no we're making no. score, Louis, I'd say for sure. Difference five points, run away again. We're making... There's the score, 86 plays 67. And we've played 12 and a half minutes. There's a bit of a go now for uh, Worthing to put the ball to his boot and got a longer kick out towards that wing position. In comes Gordon, gets the ball over to Dunn. Hand pass back to Manasseh, back to Gordon again. It bounces right, friend. And now the Magpies, he better kick it in a hurry. He fires for the goals. And what's the result? Oh, put it through. What a magnificent goal. That's his first, and he showed plenty of dash. Good play by Gordon, coming back there towards the, uh, his position on the wing. And watch this play again. There's Twiggy Dunn. Gets it over to Manasseh. Manasseh right. back over to Gordon. And it bounces right for Gordon. Look at the bounce. A perfect bounce for the big winger. And he shows plenty of dash. And he fires and he's put it through and we see the scoreboard. Very but a shocking kick. They're going after his bar streaking away this time from uh, Shimmerbush. Driving around to Dunn and Gumbledon. It's bounced right for Dunn. A hand pass. Over a little bond. He's revitalized the Collingwood side. And he's shooting around that half forward line. It's clear now. He's going to drive the ball up to the full forward zone. Looking for more. He's got his hands going. He's, he's on the boundary line. Oh, this is going to be a very difficult shot. There's one thing in his favour. There's Barassi still looking at Hafey. Look at those two coaches. They must be going through sheer torture at the moment. As we wait now for more to fire for the goals. Right on the boundary line. He's a right footer. That's the only thing in his favour. We'll know by the crowd if he's kicked the goal or not. He's running around. What's he done? One point. So it's a goal. Oh, it's a goal. Well, the, um, the umpire was late, but it's a goal. Moore's made amends, and it's only 12 points the difference in the make.